Disclaimer. Please forgive me now, but there may be mispronunciations in this video. The Ozark Howler is a cryptid found in the Ozark Mountains, Arkansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, and Texas. It is also known as the Ozark Black Howler, the Hoo Hoo, the Nightshade Bear, and the Devil Cat, who is typically described as being bear-sized with a thick body, stocky legs, black shaggy hair, glowing red eyes, and prominent horns. The beast is known for its terrifying cry described as being a combination of a wolf's howl, an elk's bugle, and the laugh of a hyena. Many are uncertain what this creature may be. A big cat? A bear? Cryptozoologists have speculated that the creature might be a misidentified or unrecognized big cat. Some biologists who believe in the Ozark Howler assert that it may be a mountain lion breed who has been mutated into a new subspecies, or that of a hybrid of a mountain lion and an unknown creature. Due to people getting rid of their exotic pets into the wild when they get too large and wild to contain, anthropologists and folklorists have speculated that the creature might be a branching off of a black dog omen found in British folklore, such as the Black Shuck. The earliest legend of the Ozark Howler goes back to the 1800s in Missouri with Daniel Bone. Bone was said to have fired his gun at the Ozark. In one tale, it is said he killed the Howler while on a hunting trip near the Platte River in 1816. There are several versions of this legend. One of the stories dates from a letter Boone wrote to his sister-in-law living back in, in Kentucky after a hunting trip a few miles to the north what is now Cuba, Missouri in 1810. In this account, Boone claims to have wounded the beast, but not have killed it. There were sightings in Red Oak, Arkansas in 1846, same in nearby Branson, Missouri in 1998, and in Jasper, Arkansas in 2011. Chad Arment suggests in his book, Cryptozoology, that the Ozark is a hoax. According to Arment, he and many other cryptozoologists received email messages making claims about Ozark Howler evidence. These messages were eventually tracked down to the University of Arkansas student, who made a bet that he could fool the cryptozoological research community. But since the stories of the Ozark Howler are said to predate this hoax, Jason Alfut, in his book, Chasing American Monsters, writes that, Many people have dismissed the Ozark Howler, but the Howler sighting stretched back to the early 1800s, as we have seen with Daniel Boone's story. What do you think? Did you like this video and want to support this channel? Please check out my Patreon page where I create content on cryptids, alien abductions, serious killers, and much more. Can't support me there? Like, comment, and subscribe here.